What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Ty behind the camera from Ty Drives and this is the 2022 Audi A8L. And for 2022, it gets a little bit of a facelift, some, some different styling, a little bit different features here and there. And so we're gonna take a look at, at all of these features that this vehicle has to offer. So we're gonna start outside, showing you all of the features on the exterior. We're then gonna pop the hood and discuss the powertrain. We're gonna pop the trunk next and check out the very large amount of space in the trunk. Then we'll make our way into the interior, starting with the rear seats, very much uh, lots of room there as well and features um, and then finally we'll make our way to the front seats now if you're looking for a first person point of view drive with this AA I will be posting one at the same time that this video goes up so definitely make sure to check my channel on that but first things first let's get right into it we'll start off with the headlamps and this is one of the features that has been updated for 2022 all new design, full LED units for high and low beams, uh, daytime running lights, turn signals, uh, and also automatic high beams. So everything is full LED. We also have headlamp washers, some nice sort of good combination of like a glossy black and also sort of a, a matte aluminum sort of accents in this vehicle. So pretty cool combination of that. Even larger grill this year for the A8 with some more of the little glossy black and chrome accents around. And we also have the um, front camera right underneath the Audi rings. Nice long and sloping hood. We have a little bit of creases that come from all the way up towards the firewall down leading into the grille. Very nice 20 inch wheels on this vehicle as well. Pretty large um, brake calipers and rotors for that too and as you can see the front tires which are 265 45 as you can see we have more of the matte aluminum trim and uh, even more surrounding the windows you can see up top we have a black uh, front panel for the roof and the rest of the roof actually looks black too because of the two panes of glass Side mirrors have the blind spot warning and LED turn signal indicators. And we also have the smart key entry system on all four door handles. So you just tap right here to lock and put your hand behind the handle to unlock. Very large rear door for this vehicle. Take a look at that. I'm just going to back up so that you guys could see the length of this vehicle. Just a very, very long car with plenty of space. Rear wheels and tires are pretty much the same as the front. We have more accents. As you can see, the parking sensors from the rear start over here for your parking assistance. The front also has parking sensors as well. OLED tail lamps back here, really cool look. Take a look at the lighting system in there. As you can see, it's not on right now, but it's got this sort of neat appearance. It's kind of like floating in there very neat but take a look at them when they're on even cooler uh, with the dynamic turn signals the led brake lights tail lights all that good stuff all led nice big chrome strip that goes through the tail lamps and also another one that kind of mimics an exhaust uh, surround towards the bottom we have the a8l badging large and prominent the trunk release and reversing camera and finally the quadro emblem so what do you guys think of the styling now pretty subtle update to the a8l but it definitely keeps it nice and fresh uh, to keep it up to date with the um, likes of the s class and the 7 series what do you guys think of the new looks of the a8 let me know in the comments so popping the hood of the a8 reveals the only engine choice available for 2022 and that is a turbocharged v6 measuring up at three liters produces 335 horsepower 369 pound feet of torque it is hooked up to an eight speed torque converter automatic and quattro all-wheel drive now before the aa also offered a v8 that is now gone for the a8 but if you still want a v8 you can of course also get the 
S8, which is, of course, based on the A8, but a little bit more uh, performance-oriented. But this V6 puts out some pretty good uh, powers, and it's also a mild hybrid unit, so it does do pretty well uh, with getting the A8 up to speed. It's very tidy underneath the hood. You can see we have two uh, hood latches and lots of sound insulation uh, to keep the uh, unwanted engine noises out of the cab. So the A8 does come with a full powered lift gate, or I should say trunk lid. Take a look at how much space there is back here. Now in typical large luxury car fashion, you're going to have a lot of space. And that also includes some uh, sort of side pockets. You have tie downs and some accessories for the vehicle, such as the all weather mat for the cargo area and the all weather mats for the interior. If you lift up the cargo floor, you can see there is a spare tire underneath. That's basically it in the trunk area. And the rear seats do not fold down. So before we hop into the luxurious rear of the A8, I'd like to show you a couple of things with the door handles. So, electronic release for the door handles, which is pretty neat. And also, soft closed doors which is also pretty neat now once you take a look inside we have this beautiful almost white interior it's kind of an off-white um, very nice color contrast to the blue on the exterior but taking a look inside of course we first have the 17 speaker bang and olufsen sound system which is very nice pretty nice use of materials back here too uh, with the open grain wood some gloss black suede leather all kinds of very nice high quality materials i have a couple of buttons back here too looks like some window switches and things like that but really only a couple of them are window switches so on each side you have the powered sunshades we also have buttons here to open the front uh, panel for the sunroof as well as opening the rear panel shade for the sunroof and the rear uh, window shade as well so that's pretty neat and we'll demo those so you can see what it looks like once we get inside you also have a little bit of hidden storage in there as well very beautiful interior here and we have some pretty high grade leather very very soft to the touch leather so it's kind of deviated in the center here and very soft uh, where there is no deviations. So I'll hop in and show you how much room we're working with. Very solid rear doors. And take a look at the legroom back here. Of course, this is the A8L and that's all that North America gets is the extended wheelbase and that definitely shows. So take a look at that. Uh, maybe a couple of feet of legroom. So back here, we have a couple of air vents and you can slide them on and off. So it depending on how much um, air you'd like to come through there. If you open this little tray, we have the old style cigarette um, um, style 12 volt power outlets back here. Pretty large hump, but you can definitely fit somebody in the center if they're able to straddle that hump. Very nice backs to the seats too. You have some open wood here and uh, some chrome accenting and some storage back here. And this is really the place to be in the A8. You even have some vanity mirrors back here with lights. Uh, more light stripping up here that goes along with the ambient lighting and kind of adjust colors too, which is very nice. You have grab handles. Very nice adjustable headrest, super soft, almost pillowy soft. And then we can fold down our center armrest. Now it has some wood accenting on the side and some nice glossy black. You open it up, you have a nice storage console and two USB-C um, outlets. 
And we also have our controls for the rear climate control. So we have our temperature adjustment, the fan speed, heated rear seats, and also where you would like the air to come out, which is pretty nice. And finally, we can take a look at the functionalities of the buttons back here, because there's lots of shades and things going on like that. But this one right here will actually open the shades above you. And the larger button will open the shade or close the shade behind you. So pretty neat to see that. You could really enclose yourself into the nice A8L uh, experience back here with all of these shades closed and your heated seats back here you can also get an a8l with um, cooled and massaging rear seats as well and they'll also adjust uh, to kind of re recline a little bit and, and things like that however this car does not have that package I wish it did that pretty much does it for the rear and this is probably the most exciting part of the a8 because this is really where you would like would you want to be um, in the back of an a8l being driven around so the front door it's pretty much the same materials as out back just a few more buttons and things going on, such as your two-person memory seats, the lock-unlock buttons. You have individual child locks for the rear, power folding and heated mirror controls, as well as your trunk opener. And you get a little bit of a larger um, storage console there. Now, very neat thing. I shut the car off so that you can see it when I turn it on. These air vents in the side and the center and on the other side will actually reveal themselves when you turn the car on which is pretty cool to see is it a little bit overboard yes but this car is all about being a little bit overboard we have all of our headlight controls as well as fog lights and you can also see down here the uh, lever for the tilt telescoping steering wheel we have our pedals and hood release over here nice little illuminated sill tray Take a look at these seats. I believe we have the pearl beige interior color, which again, accents the Firmament blue exterior color very nicely. 22 way powered seats as well. And a lot of these seat adjustments aren't on the seat. You actually have to press the center button up here and then make the rest of your adjustments in the center screen, which we will show just a little bit later in the video. Okay, so here's the key fob for the A8, not too much different than any other key fob from the newer Audis, but it is pretty high quality, nice gloss black and some metal accents. You have the pinnacle arm on the back, little release for the physical key on the inside. You have the lock, unlock, and trunk release, little Audi rings at the bottom. Of course, we have the push button start, and it's right at the base of the lower screen. Once you start the A8, the steering wheel will kind of lower to its positions and as you saw the air vents kind of lower into their positions and open up uh, to let some air flow now if you close the air vents like so they will actually shut and just go away so you don't even have to look at them and then you'll have a beautiful piece of wood in place so that is pretty neat about this a8 here but Let's take a look at what is right in front of us first. That is the leather wrap steering wheel. Pretty neat design with these sort of hoops that go around the controls. Very nice leather airbag cover with some stitching. Just a very nice and high quality looking steering wheel. As far as the buttons go, we have all of the controls for the virtual cockpit up there. And then all of the controls for media such as Bluetooth telephone, voice commands, up and down for the radio volume and skipping between your tracks. And we also have a programmable button here, which is pretty nice. We have pedal shifters behind the steering wheel. And also behind the steering wheel, we have a couple of stocks that are worth mentioning. We of course have the turn signals, automatic high beams, and then also a button at the end of the stock to shut off your lane keep assist. And we also have our adaptive cruise control stock right there. And to the other side, is for your wipers. 
Now, quick overview of the virtual cockpit. This is sort of a normal layout, but we'll keep an eye on these buttons here uh, to show you how to configure the screen. At any point, you can click the view button and whatever you see in the center will get larger, which is pretty neat. And you can also scroll between different menus sort of in the vehicle information screen, uh, which is pretty neat. You have the driver's assistance functions, traffic signs, uh, sort of uh, long and short term memory. So like trip A, trip B sort of thing and instant and average uh, fuel economy, which is nice. You can also scroll over to the audio information, the phone screen and also the um, uh, navigation screen. And again, at any point, you could just press the view button right here and your normal speedometer and tachometer will come up to be larger or smaller, whatever you'd like. Taking a look up here, we have a pretty nice soft to the touch dash. It isn't a leather dashboard, but it is a pretty high quality uh, soft touch material. We can also see the heads up display up there, which is displaying our current speed and some driver's information functions. And it'll also display navigation directions too. Now taking a look at the upper screen, we have sort of the home screen here, which is a nice combination of radio, telephone, and nav all at once. We of course have the Apple CarPlay Android Auto and that button will light up right there once you have your phone connected. But we'll just go through a few screens here. Uh, this is kind of your radio screen and you select different sources. We have the media and phone if you have your phone connected through the Bluetooth. And we also have the nav screen. So yes, you can have navigation map, navigation map all at once. And if you'd like to enter a destination, you just go right there. We have all of our different settings uh, to go through right here. And this is also where I wanted to show you um, uh, various different other settings throughout this screen, such as um, different users you could connect and things like that. What I'm really looking for is the seat adjustments here. There they are. Okay, so this is where you can finish setting up your seat adjustments within the infotainment since there's just so many things that you can adjust they kind of make everything through the screen. So as you can see what's highlighted up there is what will move. So sort of your shoulder um, supports I guess will move in and out for you. You can also adjust your side bolsters for the top and the bottom of the seat as well as the um, sort of thigh extensions. You can also configure your massage settings. So you have four different um, settings and three different intensities. And we also have a um, heat balance. So we can have uh, more of the temperature from the heated or cooled seats on the back or more of it on the bottom, uh, depending on your choice. And then a few different uh, settings and things like that for the seats. So very customizable front seats in this vehicle. We also have the lighting tab over here, which I wanted to show you uh, the ambient lighting. So it gives you some presets, or you can also um, click your own different colors and you can choose between uh, two different colors at the same time, such as the surfaces and the lines uh, within the ambient lighting, which is really nice. Swiping over, we have a different, a couple of different things like weather and things like that. It'll look, link up to the Sirius XM. You can also swipe from the top and adjust your um, audio settings. Lots of different customization with the Bang & Olufsen sound system, as you can see. Uh, surround sound system, 3D effect, all of those different things that you can adjust. Uh, but that basically does it for the top screen. Uh, I don't want to go too in depth since we could really take hours going through this infotainment screen. But just so you guys get a general gist. Now the lower screen is mainly used for climate. You can use uh, it also as different things such as like writing things for the navigation and things like that. Uh, but pretty intuitive upper and lower screens here. You can see we have the temperatures for the climate control on either side where you want the air to blow also on either side and you also get individual fan speeds uh, which is pretty neat as well. We have the sync button, heated and cooled seats. And we also have a couple of other buttons up here to turn the auto start stop on and off. Your garage door openers are electronic through the screen now, which is pretty neat. And we also have the button to control the rear uh, shade for the rear glass. Uh, you can also turn on and off your heads of display and the upper screen with those end buttons there. A couple of more climate control related uh, buttons. I have the heated steering wheel control. I can control the rear climate from up here. Um, 
which is pretty neat, and other various things like that. Right below this screen on sort of a touch sensitive pad are your driving mode selects. So we can kind of um, go through them within the infotainment or they also pop up over here. As you can see comfort auto, dynamic and individual, you customize a couple of different things in the individual. And you can also raise or lower the air suspension when you'd like as well. Pretty neat. You turn the traction control on and off you can turn your hazards on and off if you'd like and your uh, quick buttons for the defrosters a couple of buttons down here for the engine start stop we also have the audio volume and skipping between your different tracks and so also quickly pull up your camera system very intuitive camera system for this vehicle lots and lots of different views so right now we have the front wide angle the regular front the top down the rear view wide angle rear view as well as the front and rear wheels we also have a 3d view camera take a look at that that is really neat um, that sort of 3d view so if you're kind of trying to get close to a curb because you're trying to fit into a tight parking spot perfect camera view uh, for that we also have a button over here to turn on and off our driver's assistance function so you can see all of the functionalities that this vehicle has Taking a look down below, we have a nice panel of gloss black with some cup holders. We also have the um, gear selector for the 8-speed automatic. Of course, all the way down is for drive. We also pull it back once more to put the transmission into a sport mode to kind of hold the gears a little bit longer. And you can also bump it over into a manual mode where you can shift down here or on the pedal shifters. And all the way up brings us into reverse with a little P for park. And you also have the electronic parking brake right here. One more thing I forgot to mention is that all of the sort of armrest surfaces up here are heated. So this is nice and warm right now. You'll see that that lid, if you rest your elbow on it, will be nice and warm. Pretty neat feature to have in this vehicle too. So once we open up the little center console here, you see you have two USB-C inlets and a little bit of a light in there. You also have a wireless charging uh, pad that you can just kind of clip your phone in right here and it will charge your phone wirelessly. We have a automatic dimming day and night mode mirror up here. It's also frameless, pretty nice looking. And a couple of controls up on your center stack. Uh, now we have mostly controls for your sunroof and sun shades, but also lighting controls, SOS and things like that. So we have individual um, lighting up here too which is pretty neat looking uh, when they're on take a look at that and then also individual controls for the front and rear portions of the sunroof so as you can see this button will open and close both the shade and the glass part of the sunroof then the rearwards button will also uh, open and close the shade of the rear roof which is pretty neat I like the fact that they are separated um, by the actual headliner itself, not just a sort of uh, metal break in the in the glass. Pretty high quality headliner too. You can also get a suede one if you'd like. We have the mirrors and uh, visors with a little clip, and you cannot forget the grab handles. So. At this point in the video, I think you get a pretty good idea of the, all of the features that this new updated A8 has to offer. And if you've made it this far in the video, and I know it has been a little bit of a longer video because there's a lot to show off in this A8, make sure you head on over to my channel to check out the first person point of view driving uh, impressions that I have on this vehicle. So I'm gonna strap the GoPro to my head and we'll truly get a sort of first person uh, driving impressions on this vehicle but I appreciate everyone every each and one of you for watching this video and I also hope you stay with us here at Tide Drives for more videos just like this one